We're getting ready to run this 5069 Compact Logix PLC through our Studio 5000 lessons, but there's a few things we need to adjust to make it work with them. We're gonna modify our wiring a little bit, and when we create a program, we're gonna do it a little bit differently. Let's talk through how to create a program. Let's go to File, New, and we have a Compact Logix 5380, and it's gonna be a 5069L306ER. And then we're gonna call this our first program and hit the next button and click finish and we have two modules we have a 5069 ib16 that's going to be a 16.24 volt dc input module and we have a 5069 ob16 that's going to be a 16.24 volt dc output module and to add those we're going to go into our io configuration and we have the 5069 backplane we're going to right click it new module and in the filter box we're going to type 5069-IB16, and we'll double click on it, and I'm gonna call this my input module, and then in the filter box, we're gonna type a 5069-OB16, and we'll double click on it, and I'll call this my output module. Now we're ready to download this program. Let's go Communications, Who Active, and I'm connecting over Ethernet, and my IP address is 192.168.110. And notice we don't have a download button right here or go online, and that's because it has the default firmware. And I don't know why, but it's not showing up to let me update the firmware right here. So I'm gonna close this, and we're gonna go to our start menu and start typing control flash, and we'll see control flash plus come up. Now, if you are purchasing this trainer from us, we've already installed the firmware for you, but we're gonna go ahead and go through these steps just so you understand how you do it. And to find your PLC, we're gonna hit this browse button, which is the three yellow rectangles, and go find your PLC, click okay. And now I'm gonna hit the drop down here because actually I'm gonna install version 32 because that's what our trainers are shipping with right now. We're gonna click next. And it's going to give you a warning saying, hey, make sure you know what the world you're doing. We're going to click close and flash. And this is the time to let this thing just do its thing. Don't be in another software. Don't be checking your email. Don't be watching YouTube. Although if you are watching YouTube, I hope you're watching our channel and you've hit that subscribe button. It says one flash attempted, one succeeded, which is always happy news. We'll click close. And now we're done in our control flash plus. So we're gonna go back over to Studio 5000 and go Communications, Who Active, and go right back to that PLC. And now we're gonna have a download button and we'll download it. And notice it did not prompt us to go back to run mode. So to get back into run mode, we're gonna go Communications, Run Mode, and change it to run. And now our Studio 5 lessons will work with the 5069. With one exception, we, let's talk about our tag addressing because it's a little bit different. Because our lessons are based off of this Compact Logics PLC, and all of our inputs and our outputs start with local colon one. Open up your controller tag, and notice we have local colon one colon I, and that's because our first slot is this 5069 IB16. But for our outputs, they're gonna be local colon two colon O. So that's the only difference when going through the rest of our lesson series. And I've created this playlist right here with some Studio 5000 videos to get you started.